like a slap in my face. All my hard work has went down the drain. Hundreds of Guilford County school workers took a stand demanding better pay. Organizers say nearly a third of the district's cafeteria workers called out today to demonstrate. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffries talked to workers leading the charge and has a response from the <coughs> district tonight. Hannah. Yeah, guys, that's right. About an hour ago, we heard from the school system superintendent for the very first time today, and she addressed those nearly 200 call outs from school nutrition staff, and she responded with a compensation plan. However, demonstration leaders argue that not much is different about this plan. Let's go ahead and break it down, though. Here are the details. It's split up into two parts, one for nutrition assistants, the other for managers. Now for assistants, they will receive a 4% salary increase across the board over last year. The school system says half of that increase has already been reflected in their paychecks and the remainder will be seen on their December paychecks. Now to the managers. Nutrition leaders tell me this is the only thing that's different about the compensation plan from prior plans. Managers will receive a 7% salary increase. The superintendent says they work to come up with this plan and they will continue to advocate for them in the next budget discussion. I believe it's a reasonable solution. I do think there's more work to do, but we're going to need to do it together as we move forward and how we advocate really does matter. But we also know that students deserve to be fed every day and um, we're committed to doing that within hours today. We were able to deploy 200 people from other jobs to go and be hands um, hands on in schools. We can't do that sustainably. We need our school nutrition staff. Now, I spoke to one of the demonstration leaders, and he says all of them, all the school nutrition staff that came out today to demonstrate are currently on a Zoom call, and they are having conversations about the school system's response. Now, if they are satisfied with the response, they say they'll go back to work tomorrow, but if they're not satisfied, they say they will continue to call out. And the demonstrator, demonstration leader told me right now, not too many people are happy with the school's response. For now, live in Greensboro, I'm Hannah Jeffries, WFM. Why News 2.